God my maker, who gives songs in the night. Job, chapter 35, verse 10. Anyone can sing in the day. When the cup is full, man draws inspiration from it. When wealth rolls in abundance, anyone can praise the God who gives a plentiful harvest or sends home a loaded merchant ship. It is easy enough for an Aeolian harp, a wind harp, to whisper music when the winds blow. The difficulty is for music to swell forth when no wind is stirring. It is easy to sing when we can read the notes by daylight, but he is skillful who sings from his heart when there is not a ray of light by which to read the notes. No one can make a song in the night by himself. He may attempt it, but he will find that a song in the night must be divinely inspired. When all things go well, I can weave songs, fashioning them wherever I go with flowers that grow upon my path. But put me in a desert, where no green thing grows, and with what shall I frame a hymn of praise to God? How shall a mortal man make a crown for the Lord where there are no jewels? When this voice is clear and this body is full of health, I can sing God's praise. But when my tongue is silenced and I lay upon my bed languishing, how shall I then chant God's high praises unless he himself give me the song? No, it is not in man's power to sing when all is adverse, unless an altar coal shall touch his lip. It was a divine song, which Habakkuk sang, when in the night he said, Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, Though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. So, since our Maker gives songs in the night, let us wait upon him for the music. O chief musician, let us not remain songless, because affliction is upon us, but tune our lips to the melody of thanksgiving. Amen.